Morgan Moses, the new tackle for the Baltimore Ravens. He's number 78, played for the Jets last year. His greatest asset uh, in terms of pass protection is his long arms and just a violent initial punch. You can see that here. He stops Sam Hubbard. Perfectly timed or perfectly placed right below his armpit. You can see Hubbard's head gets jerked with the force of that. He continues to move his feet, and I like that, and reset his arms. Watch that punch again. To me, his greatest asset in pass protection would be his arm length uh, and his ability to shoot his arms. Uh, and when he's on target with those, he can stop guys right in their tracks. You see that again here with Sam Hubbard. Here it is again against a different uh, defender. You see him kick slide out. There's that punch. Really, that's the key with him. We'll see that as the video goes on. Uh, nice job getting square between the quarterback. That punch knocks 96 outside and off balance. Let's watch it again. Two things I've noticed while watching him, and we'll, we'll, we'll touch on them throughout the video, I think. Uh, he's a good outside zone player. Um, really does a ni nice job reaching defenders. We'll see that later. Here he's just got to drive 57 to the sideline. He's out leveraged off the ball. You see a big punch right into the rib cage of 57. Uh, the other thing I noticed is he does not stay on blocks like I would like. But he's a little lackadaisical at times in terms of staying on blocks. Jets are a really difficult offense to watch. I've never seen so much, uh, so many running back screens and uh, gadget plays. In any case, this is the uh, outside zone left that I was telling you about. You see this a number of times. Again, he's quicker out of his stance than you would anticipate and uh, uses those long arms to kind of chop the inside arm away, uh, uh, chop the four eyes inside arm away. Right there, you see him reach over with the right arm, bam, gets out in front of him and reaches him. See another example here of his technique in executing a reach block. Again, uh, called a four eye. Quick out of his stance, and there's that uh, swat or that club with his outside arm. He was able to get out in front, and it doesn't look pretty, but right there he reaches him. He's going to win in pass protection nine times out of ten by virtue of uh, hand placement. We've talked about his length, but you see it again here, just that perfect punch just underneath the shoulder, inside, and how that rocks the defender, stops his feet. <clears throat> Much looser with his hands here. Uh, versus Indianapolis. Wilder, you can see he opens up his chest. Very wide hands. Um, he gets knocked back here. Actually does a good job kind of staying attached, fighting through that, leaning on, and then keeping his feet moving and driving him past the pocket. It's after that first punch he stays in the fight. Watch it again. He opens up here uh, as if he thinks he has help inside, but in general, he's playing high. He tends to do that. He, again, he opens up his chest. You see him kind of lunge and miss there. He gets beat inside. I do think he has a hard time uh, recovering once he's beat. He gets beat inside by a spin move here. I think he's a bit impatient. You see him lunge uh, after the defender. Again, kind of a waist bend here. Very sloppy hands. Does not move his feet. 
just kind of lunges and misses. Again, I see him as impatient here, sloppy with his hands, just kind of reaching and trying to grab. He gives up his chest, gets moved. He does have help inside, but cannot move his feet effectively to get in front of this rusher. I think that's something I've noticed. He has a hard time recovering when he's beat. Surprising how little you get to see him run block in the tape that I've watched. Before he gets his second uh, foot down, he's fit up on the defender. See him kind of drop his weight and drive his legs, hands inside, puts him back into the end zone. Watch it again. Nice movement on this double team. Watch how much movement he gets on the three-tech and then climbs to get the backside linebacker. 